We'd like to thank you platforms for coming forward to participate in the test. We notice that Apple is represented with an iPhone, Android represented with an Android phone, Android also represented with an Android watch, but conspicuously absent is Apple represented by the Apple Watch. So we're going to do this exam with the three of you, and those of you watching at home, we invite you to hold your Apple Watch and do the test right along with us. Then you can compare your results. What we're going to be doing is voice-actuated testing of access to the system parameters. In other words, how quickly can you get to fix what you need? Let's begin. Apple uses Siri. Language settings. It doesn't look like you have an app named Language. All right. In Android, when I press and hold, I had a lot of choices of different assistants I could choose. The one I've chosen is the one we've been reviewing recently called Speech to Clipboard Pro. So all I got to do is press and hold, just like on the Apple platform. Language settings. That looks good. Language and input. All the different kinds of keyboards. All the aspects related to language. The watch platform. I don't have that ability to press and hold, but I do have the icon on my home screen. Language settings. Very good. Keyboard and input methods. So, score one for both Android platforms. Mm, Siri needs to learn about language. Let's try another one. Security settings. Aha! It's password protected and you can't get in it unless you have the password. That's a thumbs up for Apple. Security settings. Here we are in the Android environment with the lock screen and encrypting capabilities. Pretty much your whole security from within the settings app. Security settings. Just like on the phone, the watch in the Android platform responds correctly. So, we have success twice on the Android platform, once on the Apple, with an added benefit that the Apple's actually looking for a passcode. Of course, I don't know. That might be possible here if a password were set up. Next question. Storage settings. I uh, still got to get a passcode to get in, so I'm not really sure if I'm getting into storage or not. I'm kind of blocked by that. It's all right. I'll presume we're going to storage. Storage settings. Storage settings. There you go. Everything looking good. Next question, please. Battery settings. Battery settings. Battery settings. Ah, the watch is coming to where we were. Battery settings. Well, Apple took us to brightness. I wasn't watching because I was pushing buttons. Did it interpret me as saying brightness settings? Battery usage. Battery usage. So far, 100% for the Android platforms. No, these aren't rigged questions. These are typical questions. All right, let's move into something you probably would want access to right away. One button easy. Bluetooth settings. Bluetooth settings. Bluetooth settings. Excellent. No Bluetooth is turned on, so these guys are reporting that. 
And of course, if you have Bluetooth, you're probably going to want Wi-Fi settings. Wi-Fi settings. Wi-Fi settings. Here we go. Looks like all different Wi-Fi settings and all of them are on the same network. Ah, let's try this. Application settings. I'm back in Wi-Fi. That's not right. One more try. Application settings. Hmm. Application settings. Application settings. All my installed apps. Not sure where we are here, but it's not applications. And same thing on the watch as well. The Android watch and phone seem to be handling this voice command very well in getting into the system's information. Let's try another one. Sound settings. Sound settings. Again, this one comes back and we have to do it twice or three times. Sound settings. Oh, look at this. We have two options, audio profiles or sound. Well, let's try audio profiles just once. There's all the different, boom, tap it and it automatically goes into the sound settings. It's in silent mode right now. That's interesting. Sound settings. And now it has the other option. And there's all your basic sound settings. Well, the watch gets extra credit. Let's try another one. Rooster settings. <laughs> it just copied that to the clipboard because, of course, there's nothing like a rooster setting. Unless you live out in nature like I do, and you're probably hearing all the roosters in the background. It's a beautiful sunny day. Why am I here? I should be outside. Because I have a couple of more to go. We did sound settings now. Display settings. Display settings. This looks like it's still on sounds. That's not good. Let's try that again. Display settings. Ugh, you know what it might be thinking. Display settings. As opposed to the display settings. All a matter of interpretation. Display settings. And there they are. All right, we have the watch. 100% with a bonus because it uh, could distinguish in the sound settings two different areas it could go into and give you the option. A little bit subtracted because it didn't launch correctly every time. But in general, working great on a standalone Android smartwatch. The Android phone, pretty much 100%. Seemed to work all the time. A little slow sometimes coming back, but worked great. The iPhone, maybe 70, 80%. Missed a few of them, but then hey, they may be using different words for the system settings. All in all, all three of these work pretty well for just being able to touch and speak information that gets you into the system settings. Apple? Will your Apple smartwatch 
do this. 